Hey guys, Shanti Phillips here. So I just got a seeing As Above, So Below. This is one that I was really looking forward to seeing. Thought it had some pretty cool trailers. Um, you know, it's basically about the you know these people who go into the catacombs searching for this stone, and then you know they get stuck down there, and that's pretty much the idea of it. You know what happens down there. I'm gonna say though, it it wasn't as creepy as I was hoping it was going to be. It's you know, I really felt like it was going to be one of those movies that was really, really, really scary. Because it's a really cool premise about in these catacombs and, you know, pretty much like going into hell or, you know, seeing, kind of like in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, seeing your own personal hell. You can see from the trailer, they're kind of seeing the things that kind of haunt their lives. Um, and, you know, there was parts of it that were kind of cool with that. Overall, though, as a movie, I, I liked it. But I think there was a lot more that could have been done with it. I felt like there was a, some missed opportunities with it. But it's Essentially, it's pretty much like a really, um, you know, deranged version of The Goonies. That's pretty much what it is about exploring these catacombs to try and find this crystal. And that's essentially what the movie is, is a real f***ed up The Goonies. Uh, that's pretty much what it is, but... Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I thought it was a cool setting, but there's been other movies underground, like The Descent, and some of those other ones that I thought were creepier, and, and I really felt like this one was going to really, you know, really work on a creepy level, and like I said, there, you know, the last, like, 30 minutes, there were some cool aspects to it, but I felt like some of the things, like, that they were seeing didn't look as cool as they could have. They looked okay, they just were not the absolute coolest, creepiest kind of things that you would expect with this movie. I also kind of felt like um, a lot of people are going to get really, really motion sick on this movie. Like, this is the first one of a found footage movie. You know, people always talk about, oh, I got such bad motion sickness from this found footage movie. And I got so dizzy and, like, I made me sick. And, you know, usually I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I didn't have that experience at all. This one, to me, really does have, uh, it's going to make some people motion sick. It's very, very nauseating. The camera shakes all the time. And it's going to, I guess, too, they were kind of trying to do that, too, to try and cre create the kind of, like, claustrophobic sort of sickly, you know, feeling to the movie. But a lot of people are going to get really turned off by that. that. I just think that it's very, very, very shaky. And um, I also don't even know if they had to do this as a found footage movie. I don't know if it if it had to have been, you know, done like that. I, th I mean, you know, it's, it's like the found footage stuff is just sort of like, there's been ones that have been better lately than I thought. Um, overall, though, out of five stars, probably two and a half, three. I mean, I liked it. I would definitely probably watch it again. It's almost one of those movies where you might be better watching it at home, or if you see it in the theater, sit pretty far back. Don't sit too close, because you're going to get nauseated a bit with the, the dizziness of this movie. But overall, it's an interesting kind of, you know, exploring, like I said, a twisted kind of creepy version of The Goonies, but just not really that scary one or two little parts, but I just did not find it, like, absolutely terrifying, like it kind of made it look like it was going to be. But anyway, though, guys, I'd like to hear what you guys thought and what your take is on the movie, and uh, I'll see you guys later, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.